So there are some people that don't really like this grey background, but personally I believe it gives very clean visuals, and follows up the GNOME's design language. Although inside the application launcher, hum, I think lots of things have gone wrong here, and the background is really the least of them. In any case, we have this extension that can help us greatly, and I already have installed it from the main branch on GitHub. And without wasting any time, let me show you what it does. When we activating it, the first thing we'll immediately notice is the panel that gets some opacity. Actually we don't see much yet because the opacity is very low, but getting into overview we'll see that all the grey areas have been replaced from our background, and moreover there is a blur effect applied too, similar to our lock screen. And the same happens inside the app picker, that I can't say it's really an improvement, but perhaps it makes it a little bit more interesting. Speaking of which, let's see some of the interesting options of this extension. First we have the brightness, and the default value was 0.60 which is kinda low, so most probably we want a higher value here. Depending on wallpaper of course. The next value is the sigma value, which is actually the blur strength. So if we set it to 0, it means we have no blur anymore, and our view will look really confusing. Basically the default 30 works pretty fine. Next we have specific components options, and for example, remember how the dash was looking? So if we remove the blur it will look like that, which is bad. Anyway, check out the options yourselves and put whatever makes you happier. One last thing, is that we might want to have a different background than our wallpaper. I could show you how to do that with editing some CSS, but it would be boring and stupid. So I opened a feature request instead, asking if they can add such an option to the extension. 